It's the Bakunin Observance Week here at Corvus Belly, and we have some epic boxes to give away. Drop your comments using the hashtag InfinityBakunin, and retweet, interact, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook for your chance to win a copy of this new Infinity Action Pack. Good luck, and keep connected. Hello and welcome, this is Carlos Bostria and we are here in Corvus Belli making this video for you. We're right in the Bakunin Observance theme week here in Corvus Belli. Making this video for you behind the camera is Connie, our super Star Wars Corps Admiral. And here this is me, Bostria, just for you. Okay, what we're going to make here is one of those concept design videos full of ideas, full of concept designs. These are so meaningful for me because we are so involved into this and it's a moment of showing off our skills and showing off the work that has been done previous to make the miniatures and put them in a box for you. So let's take a look at these concept designs. I hope this is awesome for you. Here we go. Okay, first design of all, Orphans of the Observance, which is a new unit profile and a new kind of miniature for Bakunin. Okay, these are obviously female orphans on Bakunin that get um, recruited by the Observance in order to make medium infantry, line infantry, light units for the Bakunin army list that you're going to make with them. Okay, this obviously is not so hard on, on armor value, despite they are considered medium infantry. Okay, they have very basic weapons, but a bit specialized into becoming something useful for your army list because some of them are engineers, uh, engineers sorry, uh, some of them carry mines, and there's a lovely option with marksman rifle and multi visor, so that is very useful for you. Okay, we can see here the concept design and also the execution, the translation into 3D, which is also very, very important and meaningful for us. Okay. Moving on, and we go now with the banner of this army right now, which is the Reverend Moira's classic design. Since the first edition of Infinity, they have been here and they have arrived. And pretty much the, the cornerstone of oh, everything else that comes, everything design that came later for the Reverends, really. This 2023 version is coming with this lovely design. More armor right now, okay, less exposed flesh. Okay, <laughs> regarding the Moiras, but also a few interesting decisions regarding concept design, because this time we decide to make the Reverend Moiras a bit more antagonistic towards military orders, or military orders were more considered regarding the concept design stage, towards what kind of design are we giving these nomad religious nuts compared with the pano religious nuts, essentially. So, we are letting the Gothic architectural aesthetic and the Christian crosses for the Pano religious nuts, and we're going to fully go with the symbol of the Company of Mary, okay, that kind of M or W mm, with the cross mix for the uh, Reverend Moiras, and also in terms of architecture, we're going to go with uh, Greco Romanic architecture. So, not pointed arcs, rounded arcs that kind of decisions that will translate later into pieces of terrain or just environments for them. But it's important to have these aesthetics uh, clarified since the beginning. So avoiding specific Christian crosses and putting Celtic crosses or the symbol of Mary in the clothes or swords, that kind of stuff. So something that I like particularly from these two Reverend Moira's uh, sculptures from the action pack is that they have this kind of pre raphaelistic quality to their faces, like their statues, okay? You can see this kind of stuff in the Barry Winsor Smith comics from Conan, okay? This is kind of classic artwork and these uh, unexpressive faces that are almost like sculptures. They look very well in these religious nuts that we have here, <laughs> these, these nuns, warrior nuns from the future, okay? So, a lot of elements that come together in a miniature. I like the ancient version even more than the sniper version, but the sniper version is very useful. So, Reven and Moiras are important for us. Okay, so once they are done, the rest comes later, okay? So, let's take a look here, for example, at the update of the Reven Custodiers, which is pretty much the lieutenant on this box, okay? Hacker lieutenant, Reven Custodiers. Remember that the observance in Bakunin are meant to be the, the people in charge of uh, the cyber security and, and the crypto, <laughs> cryptocurrency in the Bakunin maybe, <laughs> okay. because they are totally devoted against Aleph. 
against the AI, okay? And if we're talking about Moiras and we have hacker specialist Moiras, these are the highest rank here. So this is the brethren custodians. And we have a lovely figure, okay, with the hacker hand, okay, because they are always touching holograms that we cannot see. They can see those holograms because of the interface of the helmet. You should know that, okay? We just allow you to see in some photos because special effects, okay? Apart from that, we have a new updated design, and I like this probably the most, the Revenant Healers, which was already back in the day a very good design and came out with lovely figures. Look at this, the 2023 version of the Revenant Healers. Doctors, specialists, always useful, always in the fire team, okay? Uh, the 3D translation of the figure is like that. It's nothing too fancy, nothing incorrect, it's perfect. It's the kind of miniature that is giving no problem, nobody will have an issue with this one. It has the medikit on one hand and the boarding socket on the other hand. Moving on, and we have another updated classic unit, not as classic as the Revenant Moiras because it appeared first time with the Human Sphere expansion, but this is a classic ARO piece from Makuni, of course, with neurokinetics which is the Sinitar, Sinitar with a sniper rifle this time, okay? Updated design, updated figure, once again a fine figure, okay? Perfect, in my opinion, for, for what it is, okay? And here we have a new design for a new unit for Bakunin, okay? The new Reverend Cenobites for Bakunin, okay? These are impetuous models, okay? Similar to Moira's, also with lots of benefits that the usual Reverend has. Perfect piece to combine with the fire team, okay? But they have access to other weapons because we have option with chain rifle, we have option with heavy rocket launcher, which are the two options that come in the box. So really useful figures. Let's take a look at the concept design here. And now let's take a look at the option execution in both of the figures. Glorious, imponent, impressive Cenobite with heavy rocket launcher. And look at the dynamic one with the chain rifle running through the enemy. Obviously, one is going to be part of a fire team and the other one is going to be like a war van, I will say. Okay, very good miniatures in my opinion. Okay, moving on and looking at the big one, the big one from the box. Okay, Silhouette 5, the new unit, Penitent Observance. Okay, which is like a female mini tag. It's a, it's a Silhouette 5 heavy infantry. Female, because remember that most of the units in the Observance are females. They have assigned roles, okay? And we have here a huge Red Fury weapon holding and sword holding, high damage value, <laughs> a big piece of, of your army here, which is the Penitent Observance. So, what do you think? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Okay, what do you think about these new designs and this new take on design of Bakunin? Post in the comments. Let's move on, because apart from the box uh, action pack of Bakunin, we have also an accessory um, Dire Force box, okay, which is the mission pack 12 and comes with more characters. We have Mother here, Agatha Wabara here, and we have a kind of design. If you take a look at the artwork, it's different, okay? This is not from Carlos Torres. This is probably from Roberto Zoreda. And we have here Agatha Wabara, okay, uh, holding a trench hammer. Uh, big miniature, uh, mother healer, so another doctor for your army list, okay, has a cost that goes perfectly with the action pack, it's intentional, we do things with this intention totally, we're hideous people, okay, and the HBT for this box is uh, Robin Hook, the outlaw, okay, uh, an AI from Makunin, okay, Robin Hook is this character, very special character, okay, he's also going to have a unit profile, okay, for playable unit profile, but here in this Dark Force box is going to have the role of a uh, HBT, okay, to be rescued, okay, you will see that on the demo game. This is the 3D render of the figure actually, and looks so lovely, okay, with the crossbow over there, fine, fine. And finally, the enemy, because Dire Force are usually confronting enemies, and this is Constantinos! Hello, Constantinos! How are you doing? Okay. Uh, Indigo Brother Constantinos from the Military Orders is coming back in a Dark Force box against the Bakunin. So this is obviously antagonizing. Religious nuts from Nomas are against religious nuts from Pano, okay, obviously. So we have a new figure for Constantinos, which is a specialist, which is very useful. And here, there you go, this is the new 3D model. Oh my god, looks lovely for those of you who play Military orders, we hate you now, because Bakunin is the new thing, and it's coming for you to take the throne of the religious nuts in, in infinity. 
finally, a classic design that we're coming, making a new takeover here, boom, Revenue Superior, Cassandra Kusanagi, which has a cost very, very approximate to Agatha Guavara. So you can fill the 300 points, whether with Cassandra or with Agatha Guavara. Here, the Revenue Superior, classic miniature from Infinity, since Human Sphere, not since uh, N1. But here we go. This is the 3D render, and this is the final exclusive miniature, the final ultimate release from the event, apart from many problems, which is something that convention exclusive on 2023. Those are all the miniatures that will arrive at Adepticon, okay? And this is the whole bundle, and this is the whole process of concept design taken into infinity, so you can enjoy and knew all the decisions making behind every design. Thank you so much for your attention. This has been Carlos Bosti, I'm from Corvus Belli. Bye.